<laughs> animation, animation, please, please, <laughs> please. Okay, so she <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. So she was cosplaying as Sabuki? Wait, what? Even if nobody was waiting. Even if it makes you go what again? The diva of despair takes the stage once more. Junko Enoshima, the 53rd. The 53rd seems very particular here. Wait, what? Hold on. The, the, the new ultimate despair. <laughs> there you have it. Once again, the mastermind is Junko and Oshima. <laughs> I'm like trying to... Peace things along here. I mean, we saw her standing next to Mother Kuma. Jinko and Oshima, the 53rd? That's what I'm curious about, too, Kibo. Sumugi, what's the matter? Aren't you Sumugi Shirogane? Our friend who survived with us? <laughs> Sorry about that. You can go ahead and forget about Simugi Shirogane. Because I'm just a character. You know, alive. Dang! Okay. Sorry to all her fans out there. If any of you even exist, that is. Because she's just so plain. Uh, a lie? Simugi Shirogane was nothing more than a cover for me, the mastermind. <laughs> Calling her your friend? Ugh, it's laughable, really. Really, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> uh, are you serious? You're the mastermind behind this? But why? That face and that voice. It's just like... Junko and Oshima. I know, right? Oh! Does it make you fall into despair? <laughs> well, does it? No, that's not possible. Junko Inoshima is dead. But why did you call yourself the 53rd? As history repeats itself, so does Junko Inoshima. Yeah? As you can see, I am a perfect reproduction of Junko and Ashima. So, you're just a freak pretending to be Junko and Ashima, huh? No, a perfect reproduction. Perfect reproductions are exactly the same as the original. Her logic is impossible to follow, much like the real Junko and Ashima's. Whatever it is, you're the actual mastermind of this killing game, right? So if we kill you, then that'll be the end, correct? Oh, say mean things like that. Besides, killing me never ends the game. Yeah, we've learned that. It never ends the game? What do you mean? She's bluffing. Let's just kill her and get it over with. Wait, if force is necessary, it should wait until after we see what she... No need, Kibo. Because this class trial is over. What? It's already over? Oh, but I just showed up. You killed Kaede, and Monokuma covered it up with a false narrative. The class trials are rigged, and this whole game is illegitimate. Oh, that. Right. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. Sorry about that. So... So, 
Is that all you have to say? <laughs> Damn. She, she just hit you with the show, the saw and move on. The viewers won't accept that kind of apology. You gotta stop the killing game. Huh? The viewers? Um, it seems like you're on the wrong track, so let me explain. Okay, so first, I'll start with the event that inspired me to plan this killing game. That was about the time the meteorite impact started intensifying. Did she just start some big story on her own? <laughs> it's I knew Junko. Hope's Peak Academy's gopher project, and my inner Junko told me... Crushing the gopher project, humanity's last hope, would be the perfect despair. That's when I took over the killing game I devised. I forced those selected as humanity's last hope to play my killing game. And then I took the name Tsumugi Shirogane and sneaked in among them. Did Kokichi know about this? Wasn't he a remnant of despair? He was your comrade, right? Huh? Comrade? Junko Enoshima doesn't have comrades. It's like, you don't need a remote after you've thrown out the TV, right? Yeah. The remnants of despair are just a bunch of despair fanboys and fangirls. But I am despair itself. I am a god of despair. Kokichi was just one of my believers. A god wouldn't be comrades with one of their believers, right? Then Kokichi didn't know your true identity either. <laughs> what a hopeless existence he led. To the end, he had no idea the object of his worship was right under his nose. I, I don't care about your story. Tell us about the people watching. Who's this killing game being shown to? Where are the survivors of humanity? There's nobody watching. Huh? We were the last 16 people alive, you know. Who could be watching? Humanity is gone. No, you're lying. If this isn't being shown to anyone, why care so much about rules? You're the one who keeps talking about making the game interesting. For whom? That was just a part of my perfect reproduction. You're what? I just perfectly reproduced my own killing game is all. Just like the old Junko. The original was meant to be shown, so that's how I made mine. You just wanted to recreate the past killing game. That's it? Yep, that's it. There are no survivors of humanity. Things are just as you recall. That is the truth of the Ultimate Academy killing game! No, that's wrong! Oh dear! I am so surprised! Maybe we all remember that there's no one left out there. But how do we know our memories are real? Yep. Hmm? What do you mean by that? You think your memories are wrong? There's something that's been bothering me about our memories. Here, look at this book. The complete history of Hope's Peak Academy? This book contains years of research about Hope's Peak Academy. Nothing would indicate this book is a prop. I believe the information here is accurate. But there's a lot written in here that differs from our memories. What is different? To know that for certain, I'll need everyone's help. I want you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. We just need to talk about what we remember from Hope's Peak? Okay. Um... So it started with the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring wars and terrorism around the world. It would not be hyperbole to say that event brought despair to all mankind. And it was all caused by a single high school girl. Yeah, it was me! Junko Enoshima enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate fashionista. 
But my real identity was the ultimate despair. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans... Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. Huh? I detect no discrepancy in my memory banks. Yes. Everything we just said is just like we remember it. But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. I'll determine exactly why later. For now, I need to identify the discrepancy. So you gotta play? Spot the difference! Point out what everyone is mine, mine. thinking about in their memories of Hope's Peak Academy. Alright! Time to play some Gong Gong Run by Trivia! Oh, no. Oh, not stop speed. Okay. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring war and terrorism around the world. The cause of all that despair was just a single high school girl. Twins. Because Juko and, uh, Mur- Oh, One God. High school girl started the tragedy, the ultimate despair. Mukuro. Juko Mukuro. And Oshima. Juko and Mukuro. At least that's what I remember. But that's not what this book says. Ultimate despair doesn't just refer to Junko and Oshima. It refers to a group and the movement that came after. Yep. To put it simply... There's more to ultimate despair than Junko Inoshima. This is the first time I've heard about this. Wasn't Junko the ultimate despair? That's what I recall as well. That label should only apply to her. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. Coincidence? Misremembered? It's no coincidence. I know there's a difference in these memories. And that's not all. There are other discrepancies I'd like to point out. Ugh, does it even matter? I'm bored already. Just shut up. So, let's continue where we left off. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. The killing game between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. They were locked up and forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. But boo-hoo. When I, the one who started it all, died, events were set in motion. And the world began to move towards restoration. Then the fight between the future foundation and the remnants of despair raged on. Case scenario was avoided. Yay! A happy ending. Not yet. There are more points that conflict with the history. I'll point those out next. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history happened because Junko had prepared countless ways of spreading despair. Like the killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair. And forced into the killing game. Oh, I have some bad news about that. The events that my death set in motion... ...are only now reaching their climax. So the remnants of despair in the Future Foundation are still fighting. But for now, we've avoided the worst of it. It's ever from our memories after all. What's the contradiction? The biggest... It's class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair. That's wrong! They weren't held prisoner by it. It wasn't the ultimate despair that trapped the 78th class in Hope's Peak Academy. It was the class themselves. Yep. They shut themselves in. They did it. There, the headmaster told them to. Shut themselves in? Yep. Why would they shut themselves in? 
It has to do with the Hope's Peak Academy shelter, shelter project. During the tragedy, the 78th class trapped themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy for protection. The fact that <laughs> this tells you how good Dangerup storytelling is if I can remember events from literally two games ago, but it's fine. So our memory of the 78th class being trapped by the ultimate despair? Are you saying our memories are wrong? Yeah, they are. It just means those documents were written all half-assed. No, they were not. There's no need to worry about it. Your memories are all correct. No, they're not. What you've been saying isn't consistent. First, you said it was just coincidence. Huh. Is that so? Let's just move on. I want to talk about one more thing from our memories. It's about the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy that we were attending. What about Hope's Peak Academy? There's no doubt that the 16 of us were students at Hope's Peak Academy. We heard it had been rebuilt and was accepting applications for talented students again. And so, we gathered at the brand new Hope's Peak Academy. Since Hope's Peak Academy was large, we were all in separate classes. But there's no doubt we were students of the new school. Just like I thought, there's something wrong there. But why? Why is our memory so different? Hope's Peak Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students resumed. When we found out, we came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy was a huge school. Which is why we were all in different classes. But we're all the same! That's right! We were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students resumed. When we found out, we came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy is a huge school. Ah! Which is why we were a huge school. Okay, no. It most certainly is. I know better than anyone. I was wrong. Hope's Peak Academy. Okay, so then it's. Oh, wow! So it's really the first one. I didn't. I shouldn't have even tried to contradict. With that, recruitment. That's wrong. I don't know why I tried to even counteract, counteract Junko. We remember Hope's Peak Academy taking applications from talented students. But that's not what's written here. The Academy did not take applications. All of their students were scouted. Scouted? I've never heard that. I wasn't scouted. I applied to Hope's Peak Academy on my own. Me too. I chose to come to Hope's Peak. At least, that's what I remember. Are you saying we're remembering it wrong? Yeah. But what if this book's just wrong? Researchers make mistakes too. Maybe so, but I'm not getting all this from just the book. There is other evidence as well. Other what? The killing game we're in now is one that began with Hope's Peak Academy. So this is the third game after Hope's Peak and Jabberwock Island. But remember what Rantaro said? Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. But Rantaro's name wasn't listed among the past participants of the game. He was not present at the two killing games that Junko orchestrated. Then, which killing game did Rantaro participate in? I'm not entirely sure, but it's clearly inconsistent, isn't it? And the inconsistencies don't stop there. 
Kokichi's account is also suspect. Kokichi's account is inconsistent too? Oh, an inconsistency? Do tell. We remember Kokichi as a remnant of despair. But I don't think that's true. He wasn't a remnant of despair. He wasn't a remnant of despair? That's impossible! He was definitely a remnant of despair. The remnants of despair were the ones who tried to stop the Gopher Project. And Kokichi was their leader. If he was the one leading the remnants of despair, then he must have been second only to the ultimate despair herself. Yes, he loved me more than anyone. Like an obsessed fan hiding in the bushes. So where's your proof he wasn't a remnant of despair? His own motive video. The proof that Kokichi isn't a remnant of despair. This is it! The motive video we found in Kokichi's dorm room. Kokichi Yoma, this ultimate supreme leader, he caused mayhem the world over as the leader of secret organization DICE. And by mayhem, I mean pretty non-violent or petty non-violent crimes and harmless pranks. Anyway, Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. Those goons are like friends and family, the most important people in his life. An organization centered around petty crimes, one that forbids murder. And in addition to that, the group was only ten people. That's far too few to be the same group that tried to sabotage the Gopher Project. Meaning that whatever group Kokichi was a part of is not the remnants of despair. His motive video clearly contradicts our memories. The memory we have of Kokichi being a remnant has to be false. You mean he wasn't a remnant of despair? That's not possible. Come to think of it, we never actually heard it directly from him. But it's still not possible. Kokichi didn't tell us because he wasn't exposed to that flashback light. And neither was Kaito. Junko? Hope. Despair. Kaito didn't appear to know anything about the remnants of despair or Junko Inoshima. If they'd been exposed to it, maybe we'd know the truth. Maybe it's better that they weren't. I think the people who were affected by that flashback light were wrong. Hmm? What do you mean? All of these weird inconsistencies are from memories we got from the flashback lights. So the flashback lights are the cause? You found the classroom that makes all the flashback lights, right, Shuichi? Yes, and I noticed something strange about it. I actually did a little experimenting with a device hidden in the room. It allowed you to select the memory that a flashback light would recover. However, some of the memories were inconsistent with each other. One might say there are survivors, but another would say there are no survivors. Bizarre, right? The flashback lights allegedly help us recover our memories. We're supposed to remember the truth that we forgot, and there should only be one truth. But then having the option to recover contradictory memories doesn't make sense. Then what are you saying? Huh? The flashback light isn't for recovering lost memories? Is that what you're saying? Then what was it for? What was it for, huh? Huh? Go on, tell them. What are the flashback lights for? Altering our cognition. What are the flashback lights used for? Why can you select different memories? And what does it mean if those memories contradict each other? 
If I put it all the pieces together, it'll all make sense. We'll be able to see the real truth. A L T E R. Nope. Um. It, uh, I need synonyms. It messes it up. It uh. It alters it. It uh. F A L S I F Y. Falsify. Nope. That's not there either. Is what I've got. Not. It wouldn't be creates with the letters that I have. M A K E makes up. No, um, I'm gonna die here in Hangman's Gambit. That's it. Okay. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, what word am I looking for? Damn it, Hangman's Gambit. Flashback like this. What to memories? Distort? Nope. Frick! What sucks is... We can't let it hit. I'm... Uh... I... Implies... No. Implants memories. I would have never thought it started with a vowel. That that's yep. I would have never thought it started with a vowel. Yes, that's it. The flashback light isn't supposed to help us remember anything. It's a tool for implanting false memories. Implanting memories? Yes. The memories you could select for the flashback lights weren't our real memories. They were memories to be implanted inside us. That's why the contents of those memories contradict each other. Once we're exposed to a flashback light, those memories become the truth to us. So the memories we recovered with the flashback lights were... Not real. They were all false memories. They were all lies. Lies? Oh, what a horrible truth. If the memories from the flashback lights are lies, then everything was a lie. All oh, the suspense and foreshadowing was for nothing. Can you believe it? It's like everything that happened didn't matter at all. Well, that is what it means. Huh? Lies are just like snowballs. The more you roll them, the bigger they get. The bigger they are, the more fun and shocking it is when they're revealed. That's why everything up till now has been lies. That's the truth. The memories from the flashback lights were just lies? It's just as Shubichi said. The flashback lights are not for recovering lost memories. They're tools for implanting new ones. The light they emit is actually information that has been converted to light waves. That light is being directly into the brain, causing a deja vu sort of phenomenon. The brain gets confused and thinks the info it just received happened in the past. We were just confused? For example, your memories of being students of Hope's Peak Academy? Hey! <laughs> you guys don't have anything to do with Hope's Peak Academy. Oh. None of us were ever students there. It was just a fake memory. We're not students from Hope's Peak? Wow, yeah, okay. That was all fake. Looking back, it was a mistake to have you remember Hope's Peak. 
I didn't originally plan on giving you those memories, but... I was in a rush and overlooked all those inconsistencies, so you figured it all out. <laughs> it's hopelessly the worst! So that's why Kokichi had to die? <laughs> Good job, Mr. Detective. You got it. The only reason we thought Kokichi was a remnant was because of the flashback lights. But he did say that he was the leader of a cult organization. That was a lie he invented himself. He wanted to be the mastermind. He wanted us to believe it. That's why he lied. Anyways, I gotta confess, you know that cult I mentioned earlier? The leader is me. Which means the mastermind who snuck on the Monokuma under the Ark is me. He usurped the mastermind's role, but in doing so, became a thorn in their side. So to get rid of that hindrance, the mastermind played along with a lie. The mastermind manipulated us into thinking Kokichi was a remnant of despair. At the same time, having everyone remember Hope's Peak Academy made you guys target him because you thought he was a remnant of despair. You were using the flashback lights to control us? Then the reason I tried to kill Kokichi was... You were being controlled by false memories, like putty in the mastermind's hands. But Maki wasn't the only one being controlled. You all were! Remember when Kokichi revealed the truth of the outside world? You all got so depressed, you couldn't even focus on the killing game! Wait, then, to make us recover from that, you... Yep! We gave you memories of being Hope's Peak Academy students! The symbol of hope! So you all could face despair! You... controlled us with that fake memory?! Well, it wasn't just that memory. It was all of them up till now. New mysteries and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. But I guess it was fake motivation. You idiots kept getting jerked around by meaningless lies. This class trial was like that too, wasn't it? Why was it you were so motivated to do it? Because you got a memory from one of the flashback lights, right? Was that also a memory you used to control us? Hey, what was it you guys remembered from it again? The little At boy. First, you ran away from the Gopher Project. Humanity's last hope. <clears throat> but then, you bravely chose to accept your fate. You took on all the wishes of your friends and family. And now, you remember how you got here. You remembered that you had all been entrusted with the world's hope, right? Remembering the weight of that hope should have made you feel stronger. I have to escape! I'll never give up! I won't be defeated by the mastermind! Even though Kaito and Kokichi were gone, and Kibo started to go berserk, you guys didn't give up hope. You decided to face this killing game, right? You were controlling our emotions? Even our resolve to defeat the Mastermind? This is a killing game. A death game where emotions run like blood. If the participants aren't trying their best to live, it's just not very exciting. The memories were fake. Then what was everything till now? That memory and that memory. And that memory 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 and that. If they were all fake memories, then where are we? Why are we in this killing game? 
plans for mankind's last killing game kind of just fell apart. So figure out why on your own. This is a class trial, after all. Then, who are you? Hmm? I don't know who you are. Hmm. What's not to understand? I... Became me. What about that don't you get? If this killing game is connected to Hope's Peak Academy, then I believe you. This is certainly the work of someone carrying on Junko Inoshima's will. But we have nothing to do with Hope's Peak, so you can't be Junko. Right. So who the hell are you? I mean, no one else. What? What is this? I mean, it's he's just shape shifting and cosplaying. So again, it's just. Huh? You know him, don't you? He was in the Jabberwock Island killing game. Oh, of course we remember Hajime, but again, he wouldn't do anything. I'm Hajime Hinata. doing i'm just cosplaying yep cosplaying because remember she said she can't cosplay as characters because of cospox and this and the other yeah this is just cosplay <gasps> mahiru oh my god girl but it's not just normal cosplay because i can perfectly replicate the character uh, I'm, I'm honestly okay with hero here as well it's fine you can be hero for a minute Sounds exactly the same. It's actually pretty cool. Is Junko and Oshima also? Yes, it's my cosplay. Leon! I can perfectly reproduce a number of characters and actually become them. Aha! Uh -huh. You used that to scapegoat yourself earlier, Samugi. This is the talent of the ultimate cosplayer. A number of characters? How can she cosplay as students of Hope Speak Academy? Because Sumugi told us. Again. She just told us. And yes, we kind of have an account from Kaede. But there's definitely pink characters out there. There's one that I'm thinking of in particular from Dragon Ball Z. I don't remember his name, but he does exist. Lately, people prefer or prefer to cosplay as or lately some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, and that's unforgivable. It's so unforgivable that I break out into cospox if I ever attempt it. does this mean? What? If what I said was the truth, then Hope's Peak Academy was... What Hope's Peak Academy was? If Samuki could cosplay as them, there's only one possibility. Fictional. It doesn't exist. It's fictional. It's all fictional? Fictional? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history never happened. Hope's Peak, the Future Foundation, and the remnants of despair do not exist. Tell them, Byakuya! Because it's all fiction. None of it actually happened in the real world. I, I, is it Ren? No, no, it's not Ren. Is it Ren? I don't remember. I think that's what his name is. All of those events took place within a fictional world known as Dongan Rampa. Dongan Rampa! Dongan Rampa. What? What? What are you even talking about? What? False end music? What? You've never heard of Dongan Runpa? We're all characters in it. 
Mikan! I love every all the character cameos. Right. Hold on. Then Hope's Peak Academy doesn't exist? Nope, because it's fiction. Doesn't exist in the real world. What? Isn't that surprising? I love that uh all the wigs and stuff in her background. Yeah. Up till now you thought fiction was fact. Fiction is just fiction. Dungan Rampa's just fiction. This whole Dungan Rampa story was just stuffed into your memories. I love the metagaming here. For that reason, you all believed that work of fiction was, in fact, reality. And that's how we put on a cosplay performance for everyone to see. A cosplay performance of the whole wide Dungan Rampa world! The whole wide world? So, this was all fake? Everything was made up? Which means, if this is true, that's why this was being broadcasted in the first two games. Did you think the ultimate cosplayer's talent was only limited to characters? <laughs> no. It'd be kind of lame if that was all the big bad mastermind could do. I can do far more than that. I can cosplay the world itself. So if you want to make me your enemy... Then your enemy is the world of Danganronpa itself. We haven't. Itself? We haven't had Nekamaru yet. Come on, next one. But why? Why would you do this? Why make us think it's real? Well, duh. It's so you don't play the killing game. This is the world of Dongan Rumpa, you know. No shit, we're playing the killing game. <laughs> Joyce, favorite character in the second game. Stubborn. But it's not just any killing game. It's a killing game that takes place in the real world, propped up by fiction. In other words, there he is! Real fiction. There's my boy. Anyway. Real fiction? Is he the last one? Did they save him for last? I think they did. Because I don't... Well, no, they didn't. Because, uh... No, no, no. They absolutely didn't. Because we still have Chihaya, Chihiro. We still got a bunch of... Good, amazing characters and peeps. I can't forget about Chihaya Chihira. But if it's fiction, if everything isn't real, and Sakura, we haven't seen Sakura yet. Then the world being in ruins is also fiction, right? The world outside is fine, right? Right. Of course. How did you like that scene? Our staff worked very hard on it. Staff? There's no need to worry oh. about the people backstage. <laughs> I, I forgot about Ishimaru. Oops. Anyway, back to our conversation. You guys can just relax. The world hasn't been destroyed. Really? It's not destroyed? Then we can all go home and... Nah, that ain't happening. <laughs> Why? If the world is still intact, then we have homes to return to. I told you that ain't happening, you dumb sea urchin headed. Wait, that's me. Monokuma, what's going on? Do you really want to know? <laughs> Forget about the world. It wants nothing to do with you. The walls of this academy are your world now. The outside world is of no concern to you. The audience certainly agrees with me. Isn't that right, you guys? What? W 
What are you doing, money? What? Why do I feel like they got pictures of actual people? They've all been watching this killing game transpire. Of course, those you see here are only a fraction of our total viewers. There, Sakura. Watching us? It's just like Shuichi said. This was all arranged because people want to see it. Sayaka. So this was all a show. This whole killing game. Yeah. Everyone in this whole peaceful world watches this show. There's Shiaki. So then the old one of the only ones we haven't had yet is Shihiro. Peaceful world? Where's Shihiro? The, the, the outside world is peace itself. There's no despair or wars and Come on, Genocide Jack. There we are. All the people in this peaceful world are straight up crazy for this killing game. <laughs> Wait, why would a peaceful world need a game like this? It's because the world is so peaceful that this killing game is necessary. Ooh, is it like a Hunger Games type thing? It is so very peaceful, and so it is so very boring. With so much peace, people have become bored. They need stimulation. He created this ultimate real fiction so Dangan Ronpa could fulfill that need. Every person in the outside world watching this is a huge Dangan Ronpa fan. Everyone loves the killing games. This killing game is for everyone. So it's everyone's killing school semester. This killing game is the latest entry in Don Don Rumpa. <laughs> totally forgot about that, Fumi. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> the long awaited sequel that everyone has been waiting for. This is the truth of this killing game. Isn't it the ultimate real fiction? We. We were forced to play. Some fictional killing game? Dangan Rampa! You noticed way too late. There's no Dangan Rampa without Monokuma. Yeah, you can't forget Monokuma. Since I'm here, that means this is Dangan Rampa. <laughs> All the screens are going. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so good. What is this? Can't you tell? It's the title of the current Dangan Rampa you guys are doing. Nope. A testament to the unquenchable blood soaked world has for Dangan Rampa. What do you mean? Dangan Rampa. There she is! Enjoys and supports it. Icon! Well, more like, you know, there they are. But anyway, they're an icon, okay? I need the icon, okay? Uh, how long has it gone on? This is game three, okay? I can say thanks. Did you forget what season of Duncan Rampa this is? You guys are dumber than ants. V3. Killing game is this? What season do you think we're on? You should be able to tell from the logo. <laughs> and if that's not enough of a hint, just feast your eyes below my belt. No. What killing game is this? What number Danganropa is this? You can tell from the logo? Then this killing game is...
Whoa, 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 what, what? Oh my god, the V is not a number! Or the V is the Roman numeral! What?! Could this be the 53rd one? That's the significance of Juco's fifth, Juco the 53rd!